you asked us a question about 100 gig and, and, and on our thoughts on 100 gig and beyond. And, and what I'd like to do is I'd like to break the answer down into sort of two components. The same way that with SDN we, we, we break a network into two components, let me break the question down into a control layer component and a data layer or a physical layer component. Let's start with the physical layer. Um, for 100 gig, we think 100 gig is going to be the workhorse for the next three to five years. We don't see any huge changes uh, there except perhaps for a higher uh, density and going to a pluggable format where today they're currently uh, well, unpluggable and, and not as dense as they should be. We see a couple of interesting technologies uh, uh, playing a role here. Uh, one in particular I'll talk briefly about is silicon photonics. Silicon photonics is the ability to actually guide light on a chip, move the light around the chip, turn it on and off. This is a very exciting new technology and, and uh, we're keeping an eye on it. We're investing uh, in this technology and we see this as a, one of the foundational technologies to allow us to get to even more compact sizes and, and, uh, uh, um, and densities. Um, now moving quickly up to the, uh, to the control plane. The other thing that we like about 100 gig is because it still gi gives us a little bit of leeway for uh, uh, flexibility and control, uh, it's ideal for a transport SDN or a dynamic control plane. We see the transport SDN, the dynamic control planes, playing a big uh, impact in um, the converged IP and optical layer. Today our IP networks and our optical networks are managed independently. With a hybrid uh, control mechanism, and with 100 gig wavelengths underneath, we have the ability dy to dynamically allocate bandwidth, move it around, not just for the transport network, but also in response to the IP network's demands. There are many valuable things that we can do with this. Increase capacity on demand for an IP network when a service comes. We can reduce the costs of recovery to the, uh, to the IP network. And in general, just create a much better and more ho homogenized experience for the folks that are running now a single network, not multiple networks, based on 100 gig and of course what comes next after 100 gig and beyond.